We first met Rich Schaefer last May. His restaurant, The Rabbit Hole in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, was coming off a two-month closure during the first wave of COVID-19 lockdowns in the U.S. That was it. Shut. No income. No payroll. He wasn't sure his business would make it. The rabbit hole needed to adapt to survive. So, Rich, you've made a lot of adjustments here to the rabbit hole. What's going on here? So these are sun bubbles, and we've had them out for you about four months. You have a heater months. in here, and each group can stay separate from the others. Well, you're not exposed to anyone else. The precautions have largely worked. In early January, four employees contracted COVID-19, and the restaurant closed for two weeks. Everyone recovered. Otherwise, they've remained open for business. Schaefer also works as a firefighter in Washington, D.C. As a firefighter, he's received the vaccine, but continues to take the pandemic seriously. Some businesses rejected the precautions that were recommended. You embraced them and it seems to have paid off. It amazed me. I mean, we were like weekends, there's a two hour wait. Our numbers, um, surprisingly, were competitive with the previous year. We social distance, we sanitize, and um, we serve good food. <laughs> so people come back and there's a great view. Harper's Ferry relies on tourism and the whole city has had to change. As you enter the downtown area, you'll find hand sanitizer and signs everywhere reminding people to wear masks and maintain social distance. Veronique Malone and Nicholas Baker live in nearby Maryland. So we thought we ought to do a weekend away. It's his birthday, so uh, weekend away and come and explore Harper's Ferry. They feel confident they're safe. It's brilliant. We were just commenting of how good these were. In terms of COVID, it's probably also uh, another thing that would encourage people um, to, to come. So you've made some changes in here as well. Well, we we anticipated opening on the inside, but we we haven't. But things are far from normal. Schaefer has relied on more than a hundred thousand dollars worth of assistance from the federal government just to make it through, and the dining room still hasn't reopened, despite four thousand dollars worth of protective glass and other measures. People come in here and they're like, "This is the coolest space. We want to sit inside," but. We're just not ready. But there is a sense here that perhaps the worst is almost over. Cases have dipped in recent weeks, vaccines are being administered, and a change in leadership in Washington has brought a new urgency to the pandemic response. I think it'll take a time. I think people need to be realistic about that and patient. Uh, but yeah, I think a bit more optimistic. Schaefer says he'll remain cautious. We're going to keep things just like this until we get a green light from some higher authority to do otherwise. So 20, summer of 2022 is what I'm looking at now. So your way. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Harper's Ferry, West Virginia.